Ciao darlings, Eugenius here, hope you're all well. Gonna do a little bit of sniffing today. I'm gonna take you guys with me, but um, it is Thanksgiving Monday in Canada. We had Thanksgiving yesterday. Went to my mom's, we had this massive feast. She loves to cook and feed people. That probably explains my size. Uh, I'm about six foot four and um, yeah, there was about 20 of us there and she, you know, she usually cooks for about a hundred and there's, you know, lots of leftovers and there's, there's just tons of food. It's disgusting, really. Um, yeah, so, you know, that was Thanksgiving uh, Sunday. We had lunch at her house and I wore, I'm going to share with you my scent of the day. I actually wore a Coral Mandel. And I started wearing, like, I love this fragrance. And I said, you know, in order for me to um, have, associate good memories with it, I'm going to start wearing this and Musk Ravageur. So I'll alternate during family functions, special events, uh, events that I'm going to spend a lot of time with family and kids and things that I can have and, and share good memories with. So I wore Coral Mandel. This is the other parfum. I do have a bottle of the EDT, but makes no difference really. And I'm not say I, I've been wearing the EDP a lot lately, um, and it's not like I'm saving the Eau de Toilette for any reason. I know it's discontinued, but to me, I love both. I will be getting the Pure Parfum, you know, eventually. I just haven't really bought a whole lot lately, so um, you know, eventually I'll be grabbing that as well. Um, but today, for today, my scent of the day, and this is really strange. Um, it's not something that I, I like to wear, but I woke up today and I started journaling. This is where I'm going to ask you guys for your help. I started journaling and, you know, I'm always looking to, you know, improve or become more of a positive person, but I started jotting down some goals. And one of my fragrance goals was to uh, grow my YouTube channel. And I, I, I jotted down to do at least two videos per week. If that happens or not, it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna force myself to create two videos a week and I'm not going to die either if I don't get those two. So it's just kind of like this number that I put down. That for me is you know pretty attainable. So I put down two videos per week and grow my YouTube channel. And I've never really asked you guys to subscribe to my channel, but you guys can help me by subscribing or clicking that like button just to help uh, YouTube analytics out there get my channel across. So if you're new to my channel, um, a lot of you probably will find it different, unique. I don't really discuss um, a lot of the things that a lot of the other reviewers are talking about. Uh, new releases, popular releases, mainstream stuff, designers, uh, cheap, accessible perfumes. It's just not really my thing. I much prefer to come on here and talk about things that I don't like. <laughs> and that's that's so strange because, you know, it doesn't happen very often. Um, you'll see reviewers base their channel on fragrances that they don't like. But today I'm wearing a fragrance that I absolutely cannot stand. And I've talked about this in one of my videos. I, I think it was in my trashing of the Le Labo brand. Um, Tay Noir 29 and it's I don't know why I'm wearing it. it's just like almost for self like to torture myself but there's a whole lot I don't like about fragrances but the reason I decided to pull this out is I found myself in the grocery store last night in the coffee aisle and I'm like because I love coffee and I was like I'm gonna try some tea so I picked up some teas one of them was a black tea and I think I got a peppermint tea I just kind of wanted to like get my nose on these teas and see what they really smell like. So I had a black tea this morning and I was like, okay, you know, Tay Noir doesn't really remind me of black tea at all. Um, it is kind of fresh and, you know, there's fig in here. I get a lot of rose and maybe a little bit of tobacco, but um, What's weird is, you know, as much as I don't like this perfume, it gets me a lot of attention, um, positive attention. I've gotten compliments at work. Some of the guys 
around the shop have chased me around saying, you smell like a woman, I want to fuck you. Uh, another guy came running across and he's like, whoa, you smell exactly like the tea that my mother drinks. It's a rose hip tea. I'm like, wow, I can't believe you can pick that up because it's kind of what the perfume is uh, inspired by. So I put some on this morning. I'm going to put some on again now before I go out. And just really to see like why else or what else, what it is about these perfumes that I don't like. I don't know. I'm just kind of obsessed with, with perfumes that I don't like. I, I wear a lot of things that I don't like often. It's, it's kind of strange, isn't it? But I'm going out, I'm going out sniffing and I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm going downtown. There's not a whole lot open today as it is Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm going to go downtown to um, Holt Renfro on Bloor Street. They've got a huge selection of stuff. I, I guess it's kind of the equivalent to Name and Marcus in the U.S. But I want to check out, um, I don't know what I want to check out. I've smelled pretty much everything they've got in there. But I guess just to kill time. And it's it's been a while since I've been there actually. So I'm going to go for a drive. I, I'm expecting not to face a whole lot of traffic as it is a holiday here. But anyway, stick around. Do me a favor, subscribe, like, drop a comment. I don't care what it is. Even if you want to drop and uh, you want to be an asshole and drop a shitty comment, feel free. Uh, I'll try not to get offended. I'll try not to um, offend you back either. I'm working on it. I'm working on a lot of things, so bear with me. And uh, all right, let's go. I will see you guys shortly. I need longer fucking arms. Let's go. all fragrances but I'm, I'm I think I've kind of heard about this collection but I'm not familiar with it so this one is the Alchemist Garden collection so it's something it's the what the Alchemist Garden okay so it comes in three different product lines we have the Aqua Perfumata over here this one is the Eau de Parfum and then you have the Pure Perfume Florals so it really depends on like the tone and the that you have. I like florals so, so these ones, the Aqua Rufumadas, are 268. Yeah. The uh, Eau de Parfum are the 368. Okay. And then the Pure Perfume Oils are 456.
choice of the snake. Interesting choice of names. Well, the whole concept is that you're in the garden, so you're just represented by a bunch of different animals as well as like objects. And the alchemy part of it comes when you take one of the four. Can you tell me what is the best seller? Aventus. I, of course, I didn't even need to ask. Okay, what about second best? Second best, I would say Silver Mountain. Silver Mountain? Yes. Okay. I'm always curious as to what people are buying. All right, so I'm back from my my little journey and I was able to pick something up. Holtz had a, a nice little sale today. So I was able to grab something that I've had on my my eye on for a little while. and But it's from a line that I'm not really crazy about and there's not too many things that um, I'm particularly interested in, but it is Harmony Privé and this is on sans satin and I think they've got you know the the market cornered on the, um, incense fragrances they've got two of the absolute best that I know of there's a bunch of other incense perfumes that I love uh, Cardinal Healy Tom Ford Sahara Noir um, Come the Garçons Avignon there's a whole bunch of perfumes with incense in them but they don't, they're not really like marketed or, or, or they don't specify them as incense perfumes. I think um, Mitsa is an excellent incense based perfumes. There's a, uh, you know, in the Guerlain 
uh, absolutes to orient there's a ton of incense and smoke and resins and all those perfumes so it's just nobody really mentions it or or the brand doesn't really market him that way but um Timbuktu is another one uh, Chanel number no. 22 has you know quite a bit of clean incense and in it. it's not very smoky or dry but it's got a lot of incense in it but I love like I love um Bois d'Encens from the Armani Prive. I think it's one of, you know, one of the finest incense-based perfumes. I think this one is excellent as well. But it took me, you know, a lot longer to appreciate this than the Bois. Maybe just due to the fact that it's a little bit softer and subtler, which is weird because that's kind of more of my thing now. And, and I wasn't really able to appreciate it till about now. But, uh... Yeah, a lot of sweet perfumes from this line, really. This one's different than a lot of the others because it does have this really dark blue cap on there. And um, so this is Ensemble Satin. Let's put a little bit on. And I'm not sure, I haven't been able to look at my footage yet from shopping, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out or how it worked out but I've had this camera for years and I'm still not even sure how I should be using it but so it is very smoky and resinous and it's more of a frankincense than a, than a clean incense in the base it kind of dries down to this it's got some sweetness but it's not it's not childish it's not sugary sweet it's actually a really nice almost a uh, smoky vanillic sweetness ah uh, very woody it's it's to be honest it has a lot of familiarity with the other um incense in this in this collection bois de Encens. i mean yeah bois de Encens, and this is Encens satin i guess they're trying to associate the satin with kind of a smooth texture to it but I love this, it's very peppery. It shares that pepper note with Bois d'Encens. Great, great, great perfume. I'm not, I'm not sure of the perfumer behind this whole collection. It's all kind of like, you know, this mystery, this secret. But I didn't get a chance to smell, and I'm not sure if that's going to show up in the videos, is um, Gucci's new exclusive line they have at the Holtz downtown, which I thought was I don't know, on first sniff, you know, there were a couple of things that stood out to me. One of them was, and I got a sample, so it's called, the exclusive collection is called The Alchemist's Garden, and this is The Voice of the Snake. I'm not obsessed with the names of these perfumes, they're all kind of like very Killian-like, which is strange as fuck to me, because I could never stand the by Killian names, but this is their Oud-based perfume. Um, it did stand out in a way where it was very spicy and peppery and I was able to pick up a little bit of cumin in which I'm absolutely fascinated by. I love cumin. Like I said in one of my prior videos, you know, cumin can take a perfume from, from, you know, from a like to an absolute love. So I was able to pick up some cumin cardamom and it was more like oud smoke more than actual, you know, synthetic woody oud oil that you get in a lot of um, mainstream Western ouds. But there you go, that's kind of been my day in a nutshell. Um, happy to get Ensemble Satin. These things are very rarely disc discounted, so it's nice to get a nice little discount on this today. Um, yeah, that's it, that's Canada. Canada's Thanksgiving Day for me. I was able to spend some time sniffing and shopping, but anyway, hope you all enjoyed this. Don't forget to, you know, give me a thumbs up, a like, a comment, a subscribe. That'd be lovely, and I would really appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we will see you all again very soon.